Hi, all. I had an interesting experience with myself today. I got up, I took my vitamins, I made myself a cup of coffee, put in the uh, Walden Farms original cream. I've begun to use the new Splenda Naturals Green as a sweetener. So I had coffee and uh, cream and sweetness, and uh, I drove to work. My mind was uh, occupied with all kinds of things. And I realized that by sipping the coffee, and uh, it was a a full 16 ounce uh, styrofoam cup, lasted me almost the entire trip. I got to work, I put the refuse in the uh, garbage, I felt good that I didn't leave it in the car, I went into the office and began to work. What I realized was that Just the sipping of the coffee throughout that 45-minute drive kept me calm and comfortable. I thought about other people who listen to the radio and others who uh, listen to music all of which indicates that we have a need to intake and that when we intake, it feels good depending upon its impact on us. You've heard me often talk about the fact that one of the biggest problems with dieting is that that comfort is met using food. But the circumstances that I was just thinking about made me connect. What if we got into the habit of meeting our need with things other than food and finding a methodology so that we were conscious of the fact that we were using these other things for comfort. And by using them for comfort, we didn't have to stuff ourselves. I thought about the magic protocol. And by the way, I'm going to ask all of you to find me a new name for the magic protocol. And the reason is I've said it's magic because when you put the candy in your mouth, you are 100% successful in reaching your goal. But it's really not magic. It's behavior, action on your part that makes it work. Now, how do we connect comfort activity other than food so that once we lose the weight, we have methodologies to keep it off. I had the uh, 
opportunity because uh, I was not busy. And I began to put down on paper things that I would look forward to, things that I could do, things that I could avoid. And in 15 minutes, I had a list. And rather than talk about my list, what I want to share with you was the thought that came out. I realized that I could substitute anything on the list if it suited me at that moment for food. So all I needed to be was aware of the fact that I wanted something, to realize that for most of the time years ago when I was truly heavy, that I used food to calm myself, to comfort myself, to distract myself, and none of it, except for a moment or two, worked. And it would frustrate me and make me angry, and that would promote another, I now call it acting out behavior, but it was an inner sense of neediness and that comfort, as we've talked about before, went all the way back to the first few hours of my life when I fussed in my mother's arms and I was comforted by being nurtured. I can go for a walk. I can play some music. I can straighten up my desk. I can listen to the radio. I can turn on the computer. I can play solitaire. I can do some things that I need to do for business that I would not have done at that moment. But if I were conscious and needed to fill my time by giving myself something, it would work. What we need to do, each and every one of us, is to have this list of things we can do at the snap of our fingers immediately to meet our need to feel comforted by doing something proactively instead of acting out with food. We need to do one other thing as well. What I did is I spoke to little Charles and I said to him, you are pushing me to act out because there was a candy bar that a patient had left inadvertently with a companion when they came in to have their beads. And that candy bar was staring at me in the face and I wanted it. And little Charles wanted it. But I said to him, I want that candy bar as much as you. But I realized that if I'm gonna have that candy bar, it's gonna be good for me for the time it takes me to consume it. 
You, on the other hand, I know you. You're going to go from the annoyance that you're causing me right now because you're not shutting up talking to me about having that candy bar and having that candy bar and having that candy bar. You're going to go from nudging me to total calmness because the moment I put that candy bar in my mouth, you're done. But what I realize is I'm not. Once I put that candy bar in my mouth, I have a moment of peace and then guilt and remorse and feelings. Why did I do it? So I'm suggesting that we all begin to make lists of things that we can do to substitute for what we really want, but not what will really meet our need. Thanks for listening.